Welcome to the Bowers Mansion. The day after our most recent paranormal tour. What's left after an evening of paranormal investigation? Just a bunch of chairs. Happy Halloween, everyone. Friday night and Saturday night. And I'm pleased to report some very interesting activity. Especially last night. learned about a spirit who comes over here from the funeral home across the street. He doesn't even live here. He didn't live here. fellow named George, who said he died in a car accident when he was 42. And he likes to come over to the Bowers. I mean, the funeral parlor is literally across the street from me. <laughs> and apparently he knows me too. Bowers Sr. last night wasn't too crazy about the eight plus ladies in his men's parlor. <laughs> he made that known. And sweet Bernard upstairs, we're still working on bringing him out of his shell. You know, Bernard had a heart condition and he spent most of his life confined to the second story of this house. There was a special shower built for him. He had an aviary because he loved birds. And I venture to guess, you know, he didn't have a heck of a lot of contact with people living your life up on the second floor of a house. So Bernard's still coming out of his shell. So there is some camera equipment set up. There is a shadow figure that does traverse the staircase. He goes up and he goes down. And it's believed to be Andrew Bowers Jr. who 
went up these stairs on the morning of the sixth month on the sixth day in 1956 to take the wife, to take the life of his wife, Mary Bowers, while she slept in bed. An interesting orb leaving Bernard's room last night and heading down to the family's main bathroom. Ooh. And yeah, so this is just the aftermath. And Haunted Rooms of America did a really fantastic job, both Friday and Saturday night. And I'm really looking forward to the next event with them. We have two dates scheduled at the end of November. for everyone to see.